All right, I'm going to make a uh, video here of our quiz review for our second quadratic quiz in Algebra 1. Um, again, to receive full credit, you've got to show all your work. You've got to show your thinking. I'm going to get started by, in number one, identifying the vertex being positive 1, comma 2. This is from a times x minus h, the quantity squared, plus k. I'm grabbing the 1 and the 2 here. The axis of symmetry is going to be the equation x equals 1. I get that value from my vertex. Is the vertex going to be a maximum or a minimum? The vertex in this case, the a value is a positive 1. This parabola is going to open up. So that vertex is going to sit at a minimum. 1 and 2 is going to be the minimum. Now, I know that 1, 2 is the vertex, and we also think about it maybe as the where the axis of symmetry is. It's going to be that line of reflection is going to go through it. Now, what we've done in the past is set up a table where our vertex sits in the middle. Then we can use our calculators to find values around the vertex that we can plot. And uh, real quick, like, I'm going to do my, I'm going to use my calculator and go to the y equals menu and just type in the equation the way that it's written. And I know where the vertex sits right now, so when I go to the table, I want to get my table centered around that vertex, which is sitting at, there we go, this vertex sits at 1, 2. I'm going to grab the other points here, 6, 3, 3, 6, that will allow me to go and graph this. Negative 1 to 6, 0 to 3, that's also our y-intercept, 2 to 3, and 3 to 6. So I can draw my parabola in this nice smooth curve. I'm going to go a little bit quicker through the other practice problems now that we have the method. For number 2, the vertex is sitting at... 2 and positive 5. That puts the axis of symmetry at x, oopsie, at x equals 2. This parabola is going to open down. It has a negative a value, so that's going to make the vertex a maximum. 2 and 5 will be the top or the maximum of this parabola. I'm going to set up a table. I'm going to put my vertex in the middle, 2 and 5, and then I'm going to use my calculator in the y equals again to Fill in the rest of my table, negative 2 times x minus 2, that quantity squared, plus 5. Use my table function, and in my table function, I can fill in 0 and negative 3, 1 and 3. Come down here to 3 and 3, and 4 and negative 3. So 0, negative 3, 1, 3. I have my vertex at 2, 5, 3, 3, and 4, negative 3. Moving on to number three. In problem number three, the vertex is going to sit at negative 7, comma, negative 8. Remember, it's x minus h inside of here, so it must have been a negative 7 that had gone in. The axis of symmetry sits at x equals negative 7. This parabola is going to open down. That's going to put the vertex at a maximum. Negative 7, negative 8. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I'm going to go down 8, negative 1. My vertex will sit there. I'll use my calculator again. Negative 7 comma negative 8 is the center. Use my calculator again to find values to help me graph the rest. Negative 3 times the quantity x plus 7 to the second power minus 8. Go into my table. I'm going to have to scroll down a little bit in my table because this negative 7, negative 8 sits around negative 8 and negative 11, negative 9 and negative 20. I have a feeling I'm only going to be graphing these points. Negative 6, negative 11, negative 5, negative 20. Let me go grab these others. Negative 8 going down to, that was at negative 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to be able to graph to there with symmetry. That's going to come across there. Maybe I will be able to get down 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I'm not going to be able to get down all the way, but I could kind of estimate where that's going to go. We can get the idea and throw arrows at the bottom. Let's go on to number four. The vertex is going to sit at 5, comma, negative 3. Axis of symmetry, x equals 5. This parabola is going to open up. The a value is 1. The vertex is going to be a minimum. I'm going to come over here, set up my table of values, putting my vertex in the middle, 5, negative 3. 
and I'm gonna go to my y equals and uh, take a look at the table of values for my y equals x minus 5 to the second power minus 3 so let's see here moving around in my table when x is 5 there's my vertex when x is 5 sitting at negative 3 I can see 4 negative 2 around it 3 and positive 1 6 negative 2 7 and positive 1 so I'll go on and graph this 3 1 4 negative 2 5 negative 3 6 negative 2 oh my 7's not on there I'm just gonna string this up over this side we know where it's going there so there's my problem number four I'm gonna actually continue this video in another segment